This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my amazing co anchors with me, Ife Omae, and Ife Olua Oshankaye. Yes, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> how's your weekend? Well, how was yours? Good, restful, mm. interesting. The weather was nice, mm. very nice. Mm -hmm. Weather for two? <laughs> weather for one. No. <laughs> weather for one no. <laughs> Are you doing weather for once, ah, Ife? Yes, sure. ah, what happened? Coronavirus. Ah, Ife, it's not true. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> but it's okay. Mm. BET 2020 Awards held um, virtually Monday due to the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. Winners include Bonaboy, Chris Brown, Lizzo, Shasha, Da Baby, Megan The Stallion, Rudy Rich, Michael B., Jordan, Lebron James, um, Isare, Migos, DJ Khalid, Tayana, K. Franklin, Beyonce, and maybe Whiskey. If I was <laughs> I'm excited for the best movie though, Queen and Slim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one excites have you seen me. The movie? Yes, I have. Of course, I have. Oh, you yeah. have. Mm -hmm. It's 2019 actually, and I'm wondering why I'm just finding it's out. It's on about Netflix. Queen and Slim. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, that was why I saw it. Oh right? yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Went up for two. Mm, chocolates. <laughs> ah. Okay. Congratulations to Bonner Boy first. Um, I don't talk anymore. Why? <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. Rema did not get this one. I took him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like he pulls crowd. He, I was like, mm, but was okay. this I, was I this a voting surprised. was this a voting award? It was. Ah. I, I I knew I was going to be surprised. I didn't know how or if I was going to. So be how did Shasha sure. win it though? Zimbabwe. Exactly. Wow. Yes. Mm, I think um, this for is our Rema, fun, fun thing is by more too. They're I just making Rema, noise on Twitter. Your international recognition also matters a lot. Rema is big. It's big in Nigeria, but is it that big in America? Is it that big all over the world? Dude, he was that? Shasha is that big. Obama's uh, place. It don't matter. It doesn't it, mean you. If you are, think it doesn't matter, you're playing yourself. I didn't. I didn't. It don't. I don't. I didn't say it doesn't matter to be on Obama's playlist. I'm saying it doesn't matter that it was on Obama's playlist and then that say. Wait, said. relax. Let me finish. But before you said you the jump. same thing, Nana. Yeah, I said it doesn't matter that he's on Obama's playlist and that makes him that big. Uh. All you, it doesn't make it I am Rema's big. fan, uh, uh, you should start putting your money where your mouth is. That's mm. the fact. Because um, each time we have to be in this voting category and we contend with other African countries, they usually win. I don't know why that is the case, but um, we need to do better, I who, guess. Who you is they? The fans, Nigerian fans that are always right. making noise Nigerians on Twitter. Nigerians usually win. No. Oh, the other African The other African countries usually. In fact, what, is if, a if, if there is... <laughs> <laughs> if there is a an award now and um, somebody from Tanzania is nominated and a Nigerian is nominated, and it's almost sure that the Tanzanian is going away with it. I mean, that was what Diamond Plus knows. <laughs> used to clear them. I can't remember the award one time, but it was a back-to-back -back thing and people were wondering what's going on. So, I don't know. We need to do better. So, mm -hmm. while you're standing your stance on Twitter and Instagram, maybe you should also... That's where it ends. But well, I think we're very good money. at that. We're, we're good at giving audio... audio vibes enough enough of this regular people let's talk about whiskey yeah what has whiskey got to do with this beyonce yes brown skin girl won so mm. we also have what's the other person featured ivy blue was there yeah, mm. yeah and <laughs> the youngest uh -huh. and whiskey is the most awarded artist in nigeria right now because mm. it's the only one who has gotten the award Best on the international big... act is huge Bonaboy. well but that's a that's backstage Bonaboy. award because they even <sighs> give that award before the main event i'm talking about somebody who got an award if so that's that's quite rude. It's not quite rude. It's we're the truth. It's what we're fighting for. It's what we've been fighting for all what along. It's, it's, for? It, that it, has, it has stopped being a backstage award affair. And I also want to talk what about his um, speech where he said, for black lives to matter, then Africa has to matter. And I think that's a powerful um, line coming from Bonner Boy. Um, he knows how to disappoint, but I think when they package him well, he says the right things, mm. and um, that's amazing. So congratulations to him, mm. and for that speech, um, thank you for that. I think yeah. it's, it's, it came at the right time. So why are you guys trying right to time? dismiss Whiskey? But it's all this good. is yeah. a Beyonce Africa, Award fan. Like, I don't know what yeah, you guys Yeah, it's a Beyonce Award, and it got featured on If it, you want to start talking about part, Whiskey, we can start talking really about big. Sense. Is this Sense John, Sense. or who was on that track as well? And we can also start talking about Ivy Carter. Yeah, we so. can talk about, but they're not well, from my about. country. I'm talking about <laughs> Louis from my country. Whiskey. Okay, congratulations to Whiskey. Thank you very much. Hmm. Just what I expected. You don't have to hate on him. Yeah. Wow.
Mm, yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're grateful. We're, we're very, very grateful. Oh, God, please tell your guy to sing better songs. He needs to step up. Mm -hmm. uh, this quarantine period, you cannot tell me that there's, there's all those time he didn't get inspiration. He's and working you don't on do it. You don't know what everybody's going through. You don't know what whiskey is going through please, right now. Do you like, know if he has the virus? Do you know if you ever mm -hmm. heard from him because he's been isolating himself? Okay, so talk about, about the talking about the having virus the virus. Which song? Zero times 250. Sound Man EP, Volume 1. And we're expecting Volume 2. So what are you talking about? And it was good. Yeah, it was lovely. It was a great I like, EP. I like lovely. It sounds polite. Go on. It was a good So EP. if I saying, that's if your shaka is saying, maybe Whiskey has coronavirus. I'm not saying that. I'm saying you don't but know. But why we try to confirm true. that, Peter Okoye narrates how himself, his wife, Lola, and um, daughter tested positive for coronavirus. Take a look at the video. But you guys know, for the past three weeks, I've been sick. Like, I've been ill. And most people don't even know what was wrong with me. I kept it myself for nearly about three weeks. It's been three weeks of hell for me and my family. I had COVID-19 for about three weeks. And uh, it happens to me. For those who have noticed during my Zoom live draw, I was in a room this time, instead of my usual, you know, um, location, which is here. I was doing it in my guest room because I was more like self-isolated. Like, <laughs> I was kind of imprisoned in my own house. And it uh, wasn't just me. I was sick and I tested positive. You know, the reason why I decided to come out, you know, to say it is because I think I'm going to encourage a lot of people concerning this whole social distancing, getting used to sanitizing your hands, disinfecting your environment, wearing your face mask and all that. It's been held in this family, in this house. Not just me, even two of my domestic, uh, domestic uh, staff. Then after a week, my daughter, caught the virus as well. But it was sad um, when she caught it. The doctor insisted, the doctor insisted that um, she has to be self-isolated in her own room. But my wife did something very, very, my wife did something very, very courageous. She said, no, I was sick and I was being self-isolated in my guest room. I can't even see my sick daughter. And I was feeling so bad. I felt like I'm the one who actually brought this virus to the house. And uh, it was so bad that I had to be calling her on a video. So I'm not sure why Nigerians do not believe um, Peter Okoye's video. <laughs> do you believe that? I, I, I do. I think it would be very extreme mm. for him to involve everyone. If he came out and said, I had the virus, I was isolating myself, it was very bad, I was away from my family. My but once he started know. to really drag each and every member and domestics, it's too, it's, it's too messy of a lie like it would easily come out if you start to involve other people that are more if, at least if no, no one talks the domestic workers that he claims will say something the drivers will say it will it's too it's just too domestic too many workers. contact tracing yes mm. thank you so i personally want to believe that however what i noticed that the comment section was 90 percent. i don't believe the story i started to wonder like why that is and i think a lot of that contributes to the fact that these people celebrities when they come out for a long time when they come out to say that they have COVID 19 they look really good they look really good and they're really comfortable it's same thing with idris elba vibe like they looked like they didn't have anything. He said they lost a lot, a lot of weight, which is good. <laughs> I like that part of the statement. You would he said think I lost that, a lot of weight, which is good. But for, for celebrities <laughs> that like to show everything mm -hmm. about themselves, why didn't they show us something about when they were actually going through that virus? So, a picture, like, how, not even a drug, just picture now. Maybe they test. don't want to be that vulnerable. But how exactly did that virus leave your house? 
did you fumigate? Mm. Did you call them to come and... Because this virus is not just... I mean, you're staying in a mansion. Mm. Let me put it that way, yeah? And you cut it. Your daughter cut it. Your wife cut it. Two domain, that's five people, mm. yeah? What, at least, even if you don't want to be that vulnerable to show when you are weak and some people are not comfortable with that, you could show us the process of chasing this virus out oh, of your wow. home because I don't think you just isolate. I don't think that's the way it works here. Mm. I, don't, I don't know, but... Because I don't think I'll be visiting him anytime soon. He was not inviting you, fair. No, I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, who told you well, to invite you? <laughs> <laughs> But would you be going if he invites you? Fam, he's not going to invite me. But so does, it's not something I've even, like thought about or either ways more details guys because it's hard to it's hard to believe it's hard to be it's not just him it's, it's all the celebrities not, that have come not, out except me. from that girl uh what's her name now that said she treated herself at home ages ago british no no or the, the guy we had on tea time who showed us the video of Thank why he was you. struggling and when yes, people came but to his house yourself, you and yeah. your wife are just chilling acting like this thing is you know no, they said bit. they were asymptomatic mm. uncle said he's symptomatic and but then i'm happy for them I'm happy they are now negative. Um, for, on this story, I 100% believe um, mm, Peter. And um, like you said, maybe they would have showed us how... But I don't think all of that is even necessary because a lot of people tend to believe that this is a death sentence. It is something that with a very good immune system, if you've been eating right, if you've been using the right um, vitamins and all of that, your immune booster is something that you can overcome. You don't necessarily have to look like you are dying because you have coronavirus. And with the right care, I think everything would fall into place. So you don't really have to look extremely sick. But like you no, said... No, it's not about looking extremely sick. You, you, he knows that we're in a country that... A lo I would say 60% of population doesn't even believe this virus exists. They're going to come out and say it, it does exist. Can you at least talk to people's um, doubts about it? It's not good enough to say, oh, I've had the... I can do that as well. I can go to my nice area in my room and put lights and my lips are really pink and have this nice hoodie on and then I'm just and I say okay I have a so virus and lips was pink. it was too pink it was like in my face anyway I can't so do all that to to pink lips? he should he should he should give us more details it's not that we he want should you have to use his pink lips no, to no, give us no, more we're saying that people, this guy it's not, no, he, it's it's not him like that has had saying. something ages ago it, it's not like something we've given you examples if you have had celebrities that have done it it's not impossible to show receipts that you've had a virus it doesn't have to be that you were literally sick and dying but you have to show something sure so that people that? okay the good thing is the good thing, is, the thing here is Africans. that we are different which, Africans, like, which is Africans. Africans. the good thing the here thing. is that always on this table reset. like why can't you just believe world of the mount if i tell is, you and you, you think that's an african problem I, I think well i think it's, thing, a, it's, it's a human it's a human problem i think the good thing in this story is that um the percentage on this table now is not as bad as the ones in the comment section and the conversations that I saw, at least two people believe him. So that's more than 50%. And I'm glad. But I'm also glad that he's fine. And like you said, I think anyone else that is coming out to speak should maybe come with it. Don't need to show everything, but maybe even if it's just your results that mm. shows positive and then the one that shows negative. Because now he says mm. they are all negative. And that is, I think yeah. that's where the whole thing is turning upside yeah. down in my head. So what was the process? What did you do? How did you get better? What have, say... you, how, what have you done to yeah. sanitize your house? Mm. Which is the important part for me. But th that's all good. You can even say, oh, I started with the headache. I said, he didn't say anything I about that. I said he battled that. it for three weeks. That's this is the first time I'm hearing three weeks in this drama, but it's okay. And his daughter um, got, she recovered after four or five days. Mm, wow. Okay, moving on real quick. My VGMA brawl with Shatawali was not planned, and this is coming from Stoneboy. Speaking on United Showbiz and Entertainment Show, he said, Quote, people say my colleague and I had planned what happened that night, but it's not true. It wasn't a planned thing. It shows you how serious the music industry is. He went on to say, quote, um, the beautiful thing is that today we sleep peacefully, we wake up and call each other on the phone, and we are all focusing on our works now and moving forward, end of quote. Can I just start by saying, let me shake the table, mm -hmm. break it. Don't break it, just shake it. <laughs> um, I don't like how Ghanaian, the Ghanaian celebrities, the one that are really putting Ghana on the uh, map. map and like the big guns are so ratchet and a bit too ghetto. I saw the full thing and I just, I, I was kind of glad that we don't have that type of problem here. It's petty and it stays petty. It doesn't get to a point where you start to act like a hooligan. I think there was one time where we had that in, in Nigeria with our celebrities and it was 
um, Davido's guy who went on behalf of him. I think we, you were the one that was really giving us the gist of that story and that he was asking for one million and then people started fighting. So that wasn't, that was even by the way it was petty. But once you start to see people who are really influential, pretty much representing Nigeria. Like if, I, if, if someone asks you for Ghana, Ghanaian music, I'll play that. And then your, your character is so like involved in violence. It's very disturbing for me. But that's just by the way. In regards to the topic, I understand that people would think that it was planned. I don't necessarily believe that it was planned either. But to me, that even just shows my point exactly that it is still a bit unnecessary. Like these are grown men dealing with guns and embarrassing themselves at like world events. Like let, the fact that he's saying it like because it wasn't planned and it means it's more respectable or something is wild to me. Mm. Left me, um, whatever it is, I'm wondering why we're always talking about Stone Boy though because Stone Boy now is like, is, I think he's about to put out something really because it's, it's out always, already now. Yeah, yeah, yeah so it's, it's always in the news now. So I think there's a lot of publicity storm because I didn't hear anyone saying that um, the whole thing was staged and all that. But um, like you rightly said, the fact that it was saying that, the fact that it was not, I had a big problem with that because it would have been better if it was even staged and it was like, okay, mm -hmm. they did that for the publicity. And now that you're telling us that it's more, res no, it's not more respectable because we still see like, why do you have a gun? That is, if you're pulling out a gun on the, on the world, uh, on, set on the world stage, on, on a, on a um, national stage, right? What would you be doing, doing at the behind saying, cameras? Yeah. Like if a fan tries to approach you, and a I think fan this was the reason we were believing so, Kelvin, Kelvin Boy. Right? Yeah. yeah. So what would you be doing if you can pull out the gun it's like that messy. with too, so too many too cameras, with so many witnesses? Now imagine when no one is looking, you probably would shoot someone there, bury the body in your backyard, and no one would know about Shit, it. Netflix. Story right there. I think there. I watched too, too many movies. I watched like six movies this weekend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did they bury bodies in the movie? One body. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So I don't know. So I think um, they need to do better. Not just Ghanaian celebrities. I think celebrities globally. Like this is the abuse of power we keep talking about. The fact that you feel the need but to carry. But how common is it that you see celebrities... <clears throat> um, display that type of gun violence in public. I don't think it's a every celebrity problem. I don't, I, I know Nigeria doesn't no, I'm not even problem. talking about gun violence now. I'm talking about abuse of power. Right. The fact that you feel the need to carry a gun. Who are you? Who is coming after you? The fact that you see... The Lucius a, Lion Farm. What's that? <laughs> the fact that you see a lot of pastors too with so many security guards and all of that. Who is coming after you? Who is trying to attack you? Mm. Who have you offended? Like, those are the questions I that I think we, they can tone that down, actually, because it's usually much, and you're wondering, uh, what's, what's that serious? Like, mm. of course, you need bodyguards and all to keep the fans away, but and then you see when the you start convoy. having a convoy of two, three, four, five, six, seven, like, like what who, happened? What have you done the fact like, that I even use fans is the reason why there is a problem with that system. I mean, with regards to church people, once you start to have that, like, are we? To, are you actually supposed to be funny or pastor to a point where he needs a bodyguard? Like, that's a bit disturbing. You know, yeah, no, so, but you know, we have fans that will jump on you. You are nice. You don't fan people that much, but we have ACs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when they love you, they are ready to jump on you and mm -hmm. do whatever, and you don't want that all the so time. So I think so, yeah. we need. We really need to tone it down celebrities world leaders and all of that like we can we can live in peace without having so many securities without having abusing our powers without carrying guns and all of that so i think it's something we can do if we try okay um so very quickly before we go the arrest of hush Puppy, of course is generating a lot of conversation mm. and um akanani is calling out daddy freeze mm. basically with his own um Script, scripture. He's scripture. saying he's always using the scripture to defend his mm -hmm. ways. Mm. Yeah, Akan couldn't have said it better. Mm. He said it so accurately. Like everything, he even gave him what the scripture was talking about. Mm -hmm. The definition of that particular scripture, who the um, Levites are and who the Jews are in that scripture. Mm. The tax collectors, the people, that it's, it, he even gave an example of how we call lawyers liars. But they're just doing mm. their job. Mm. But in that, if he is, I don't know why you were so, because I watched this video over the weekend and I'm like, the way you're even defending this thing, it shows that you had- to defend his name, I guess. 
But, yeah, um, but you could have been, you could have just come out and say, oh, I'm totally disappointed in Nosh Puppy. I didn't even know you told me it was a real thought. Now, you brought out a video from 2019 about a girl that said she was chatting with Nosh Puppy and he told her that he was, a, um, he was an influencer and all of that. So you didn't need all of that to just, you should have just said, I'm so sorry, I disassociate myself. See how Dino Melaye did it. He say mm -hmm. the, the, the company you keep doesn't really show. Doesn't who you, defend, doesn't define, define you who you are. He just said it some way, but he denounced Osh Poppy almost immediately saying that, yes, he, he took a picture with him, but it doesn't mean this is who he is. Mm -hmm. So it, could, it was something that you could have just said so easily without having to put so much issue into that it. That one so. I agree. I agree that he didn't have to explain that, but with Akan's um, description, yeah, I, I disagree a little bit with that. I mean, I, I like the point that he's going across of like it's correct and stuff and yeah you try and manipulate it but what I can do is also manipulating the scripture let me just tell you for a fact because I have seen many times in Bible school in church in sermons in Nigeria abroad where people use tax collectors as an association to Jesus um, as a metaphor for how Jesus um, hangs around with sinners it is not um, that he frees twisting the scripture that has been used several times even the I think it was Akai because I know Akai used to be in Koza, and I know there was a there was a sermon that somebody I, I saw on, on on Facebook because I actually wanted to have that conversation with people who I know because I have a background with studying the Bible and everything and there's a there's a um pre, uh, a, a sermon from Koza which is the, the pastor that he used to be under who explained how um what's it called that if jesus was in today's time and he was hanging around with people that he was hanging around with we still want to serve him because back then he was hanging around with prostitutes and tax collectors yeah, I, I, I and all that, that type of stuff so he wasn't over. twisting the bible yeah. in regards to that well, I think everybody now, because when it comes to daddy freeze and this um, free the ship thing, the fact that there's a ship for you to free, mm. it means that if you are smart as well and get them over to your side, you can also, also manipulate yeah. them and make them become the ship that they wear from where they come from. Because this thing, what I see now is everybody trying to be as smart as possible exactly. to twist the Bible enough to get followings and whatever it is yeah. they gain from whatever they're yeah. doing. So, Agreed. unfortunately, we don't have more time to go puppy, ahead. Daddy Freeze was even telling people that ah, if you get your father has to come and work for us, yeah, yeah. So I think come it on. would have been nice if he did like something close to what Dino Milaya did and yeah. he just moved on. But I hope we'll have more time to talk about this in the next episode, as that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and do join the conversation by sending us um, your messages via WhatsApp to 090 or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, watch Tea Time on our to TV and the London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, go to my amazing co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Olua Yes, that's me. And the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. To stay safe.